What up, world? It's your boy, Big XL, back again with more content. Now, before we get into this content, I want y'all to do me one big favor and make sure y'all hit that like button. Get in the comments area and communicate with your boy. Please do that for me. Please do that for me. Subscribe to the channel and share. All right? Like, comment, subscribe, and share. Also, make sure you check out me and my partner, Spank. Every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, we give you the best in country rap music as we drop our podcast, Country Rap Report, right here on YouTube, 10 a.m., giving you brand new content. Okay. This, this is going to be a hard one for me because I actually knew this gentleman. Um, I want to say rest in peace to Atlanta rapper Trouble. Okay? Atlanta rapper Trouble has passed at age 34 years old. Uh, a lot of people might know him as Mariel or a lot of people might know him as Scoob. A lot of people might know him as Trouble Trouble. Some even might know him as Trouble of D-T-E. Regardless of how you knew him, he has transitioned at age 34. It's not been completely confirmed, but rumored that he was shot and killed while sitting in his vehicle. I'm not sure where the vehicle was, if he was in traffic, if he was parked, I'm not sure. But rumors are that he was shot and killed in his vehicle. Over 10 shots were basically discovered in his bullet-ridden vehicle early, early this morning, Sunday. This is this is going to be a hard one for me because I actually had a chance to meet Trouble. I mean, he was a very, very, very good dude, man. Very good dude. Um, when I met him, he was very humble. Had an opportunity to sit down with him, talk to him, interview him. And this was right after he got out of jail. Um, a lot of labels was looking at him, but he, he wanted to do his thing independent at that time. And um, he went and released the mixtape in 2018 called Edgewood that really, really, really held the streets down. Um, very well-spoken gentleman. Had a lot of love throughout the communities of the city. He was one of the founding members of Duct Tape Entertainment. And, um, man, he just was a, a very, very humble dude. Um, a lot of rappers and entertainers that took to Twitter and Instagram to send their condolences. Um, this one here struck me. Um, his ex-girlfriend, Alexis Sky, she actually left a heartfelt message on Twitter and Instagram. Never would have imagined getting this call this morning. Lost for words. Sorry this had to happen to you, Scoob. Praying for your kids and family. Also, one of the uh, guys, Young Scoob, who actually worked with Trouble, he took to Instagram, damn school, rest up my boy. A lot of people know Trouble because he's putting a lot of work, done a lot of features with artists like Young Thug. Um, he's actually had a chance to work with T.I. He's worked with Alley Boy, Big Bank of DTE, Migos. Um, he putting a lot of work in this Atlanta hip hop community. A lot of work in this Atlanta hip hop community. Um, a lot of you guys, two of his, two of his big radio breakout hits were um, Back It Up, which was produced by Mike Will, who actually executive produced his last two projects, one being Edgewood. Also, he had Ain't My Fault, which featured Boosie Badass, which was kind of a remake or his own rendition of Mystical's It Ain't My Fault. Trouble is definitely going to be missed in this city of Atlanta. Um, he had recently signed with Def Jam, and I was really looking forward to all the work that the major machine was going to put behind him to make him a household name like he deserved. Um, he done work with Drake. He done work with Two Chains. He done work with the City Girls. This man catalog and his features will live forever. I'm not sure what's going on right now in the city of Atlanta when it comes to um, the hip hop scene, the rappers. We just, just recently lost Lil Keed. Um, Young Thug and Gunner have been locked up on RICO charges. I'm not really sure what's going on in the city of Atlanta when it comes to our hip-hop scene. All I can say is pray for Atlanta. Pray for Atlanta hip-hop. And um, everybody out there, please, please understand this is a very, very short life we live. It's a very short life we live. So take advantage of every moment that you have on this earth. Also, I want to read this before I get up out of here. Nine hours before Troubled Body was found, he had posted on Twitter, it's too many 12 out for me tonight. I'm going home. Y'all move smooth out here. Those were the last words he said on social media. Y'all move smooth out here. Y'all be safe. Love each other. And make every single day count. Make every single day count. We're losing way too many young people. And we're losing way too many people 
in this entertainment industry. Again, rest in peace, my guy, Mario Orr, a.k.a. Trouble, a.k.a. Trouble Trouble, a.k.a. Scoob. He was 34 years old. Rest easy, King. It's your boy, Vicky KCL, riding dirty radio. i see y'all next time. Y'all, stay blessed. Stay strong. You won't go wrong. Peace.